Hi, this is Lieutenant Colonel Christopher Miller, the developer of the Brigade Personnel Management Tool. What I'm going to do is a quick presentation on what the BPMT is and what it can do for your organization. And at the end I'll have a link basically to other demos, online demos through YouTube, that will allow you to see the capabilities in action. Here's the agenda I'll follow. Alright, so what is the BPMT? It's a uh, ASP.NET website, this is the same technology that SharePoint uses, however this is not a SharePoint application. But it runs on an IIS uh, server, a Microsoft server, and has a SQL Server database back end. Uh, with version 3.2 it's been updated to support all the way up to the command or division core level. Uh, previously it only supported it up to the brigade level. Uh, it provides shared role-based access through the web. Uh, so all your users just have to have a browser. They can browse to the site. Uh, it should be an internal website that they access with their cat card uh, and access the information that's relevant to the role that they are filling in your organization. So it would be your primary staff officers, uh, admin clerks at the company level, platoon leaders. They should be able to see the information uh, that is relevant to their position. Uh, the support, uh, the tool has also been updated to support um, regular army, reserve, national guard units, multi-component units and now uh, with version 3.2 also supports multi-service units so if you have air force personnel that you need to track in your organization or navy personnel you can include those as well and this tool provides one single repository where all your military and civilian and even contractor personnel uh, can be rolled into one single database so what are the advantages? So, as I mentioned before, each primary staff officer and commander has a role. Uh, there's actually roles down to the individual user. So an individual user would see their information, the records uh, that are pending, any actions that are pending for them uh, that they should see. Um, they can see their PT score, their training records, all of that is visible to them at the individual level. And then as you just go up the chain of command, the platoon leader can see the entire platoon, the company commander can see everyone in his or her company, and so on. Um, depending on your role, you might have edit rights to that. So an individual is not going to be able to change their information. They would have to go to the S1 to change information that was imported from EmailPo. Uh, but they could, however, add, say, their contact information like cell phone number uh, for alert rosters. Uh, there's no passwords required because you log in with your CAT card. So it's very easy. You don't have to learn a, a new username and password. Uh, the real value is that data only has to be entered once. This eliminates many redundant systems across your organization. Uh, most likely if you go to your S1, S2, S3, S4, they all have their own personnel rosters that they're tracking. They're not necessarily using whatever the S1 is using, uh, the AAA 162. Uh, they've got their own spreadsheets or SharePoint or access databases that they're using to track personnel to meet their requirements. This tool enables them to all share the authoritative data that is managed by the S1 uh, for the personnel tracking and then they can add their own details to it to support uh, their own uh, job requirements. Uh, this BPMT enables you to import data from EmailPo uh, CPAL, it's, it's a spreadsheet import, so as long as you match the column headers, um, then you're able to import that data. So you can import from really any data source, but it's uh, pre-configured uh, to support the standard name conventions used in EmailPo for personnel imports. Uh, it also supports importing your TDA or IMTO from FMS web. Uh, so you get your strength information in there so you can quickly see what your authorized and on-hand strength is. Uh, and then there's also DTMS imports, you can import APFT and weigh-in information uh, that's been uploaded to DTMS and it currently does not have the ability to export to any of those systems uh, but on the import it does synchronize with them so it does minimize redundant data entry. Um, the other real value is that it automates a, a lot of the data entry uh, requirements across an organization. Uh, so when you're starting an award on someone, for instance, um, you don't have to go down the hall to the S1 to ask for their arrival and departure dates. It's already in the system, so when you want to recommend somebody for a PCS award, it's going to pre-populate with that information. Um, 
so minimal information is required to actually input a new record and then the reports themselves are presented in such a fashion that you don't have to transfer them to PowerPoint to brief your commander you can brief your commander right off of the website and you'll see that in some of the demonstrations so that saves a ton of time uh, next is the automated form filling so if you have to start a DA638 award recommendation or 4187 rather than spending all the effort required to get the uh, administrative data necessary to complete that award or for the 4187 all of the relevant uh, regulatory guidance all of that information already exists in the database you just click a button it spits out the information in a format that can be imported right into the PDF formatted uh, or the fillable PDF forms that are available on the Army Publishing Directorate website. Uh, it's low cost. This is a DoD open source application, so it's free to use. The cost really is in hosting it. So if you have internal s servers and and uh, a database administrator, uh, it's, it's really only a couple hours a month on his or her time to uh, to maintain this system. Uh, if you don't have that, your network enterprise center uh, will probably charge anywhere from ten to twenty-five thousand a year in order to host the web and database servers. Uh, but bottom line is, this is this tool, if if used for all of its capabilities across your brigade or your command, will save thousands of man hours, and that more than makes up and for the cost that you're charged to host it. Uh, the basic capabilities, which you'll see uh, examples of in the demos, but it covers all of these areas for personnel. Uh, it was originally built as a personnel management tool, so uh, I tried to automate everything that an S1 uh, from the battalion up through the brigade and command level would need to do. So just tracking your alpha rosters, uh, daily purse stats, strength management, awards, uh, and not only tracking you know requirements for awards and, and uh, helping to assist awards going through the, the chain of command but also in managing an awards log, uh, the orders log for instance uh, that's all in there. Uh, evaluations management uh, those of you who have worked with the evaluations reporting system um, you know it, it handles all the administrative data portions uh, but this system allows you to at least track who's coming due for one um, and, and just report that for your command, your weekly command and staffs. Uh, leave management, uh, you know, track leave requests uh, and improves them through the system. Uh, personnel actions is is one of the more uh, uh, one of the bigger modules and saves a ton of time because there's templates and you can create templates for literally every personal action you want to track for both civilian and military personal actions and it will automatically populate both a 4187 and a memorandum that's formatted in accordance with AR 25-50. Uh, there's also promotion management module, flag management and several others to handle things like alert rosters, um, contacts, things like that. Uh, the APFT module handles your tracking your PT requirements, your scores. It will generate reports that include uh, extended scores if you want those. It's, everything is, all the reports are basically um, adjustable on the fly. Uh, and then tracking weight control and individuals can see their, the histories of their, their APFT scores and their weigh-ins. Uh, for training, uh, this is a new module with version 3.2, so it tracks all your mandatory and optional training. Um, you know, you basically enter the, the courses and classes that are required, the frequency, and it'll spit out a report that shows by organization what the percentage of the organization has completed that training. And so you can do unit level roll-ups uh, and all the way down to the individual level can see when they're due for a particular training and it even provides links directly to that training if it's online. So tremendous amount of capabilities uh, and, and you really see that when you get to the demonstration. Um, we did just get approved for a CON so there's an Enterprise Certificate of Networthiness uh, which is good until 18 August 2019. Um, it does have an approved privacy impact assessment. It is capable of storing that PII and it's been operational since January 2014 at the INJIC and it was recently stood up at the Brook Army Medical Center in San Antonio in July of 2016. 
Uh, if you want to play around with it, it can be downloaded from softwareforge.mil. Um, you can install it on a local computer and just play around with it. You just need to have Visual Studio Express Web uh, and Microsoft SQL Server Express, which both of those can be installed on your personal laptop uh, for free. And then, of course, you just need a cat card to access softwareforge.mil to download the tool. Uh, I'll have a link in the description of this video uh, to get to the softwareforge.mil uh, project site. Uh, and that's where you can download it. And you can also email me for, uh, with any questions that you have. All right, so at this point, I'm just showing the demo screen. I'm not actually going to jump into the demo, but I will have links on the video that take you to existing demos. And I will continue to build out demos and training videos through YouTube uh, to provide that capability. Um, you also notice that there is a user guide, an online user guide tied to it. Uh, when you do have the, the system up and running, this question mark in the upper right corner is the user guide. And that will just open an HTML web page which has you know, step-by-step -step instructions and screenshots to guide people through the use of the tool. Uh, thank you for your time and attention.